Hello, today I'm going to teach you about Google TV and whether it is a hoax or not. I personally think at one point it might have been real, it might not have been, I'm not sure. But the way it seems online, if it is a hoax, it's very convincing. If you don't know what Google TV is, it's a service from Google, just like Hulu, that plays TV shows and movies online. That sounds great, but it's almost impossible to get to. You would think, oh, you just type in a URL. Well, the URL is tv.google.com. Obviously, it's not letting me. Now, some people say that it is real. Um, I think it isn't. Um, people like the Infinite Solutions guy, I think his name is Mark Erickson, who pretty much made the idea famous. Uh, he says he got it to work on his computer. I don't know. I personally think it's fake, except his videos look very, very convincing. Other people say they got it to work, but some of them are showing it in um, applications that obviously cannot browse the internet, like Photoshop or Microsoft Word or something like that, which makes me think that it just doesn't make sense that it's real. If you do think it's real and you would like to try to get it, in Google type in iMacros. Now this is a Firefox add-on, just click the first link that automates things to do so it can sign you in and out of gmail which is what is necessary to get this if you watch the mark erickson video which i suggest doing first um so add this to firefox i already added this so i'm not going to do it now and then when you're done you'll get a little icon like this when you're ready to move on just go to Gmail and make sure you're in the sign in page and and if you aren't sign out of your Gmail and then uh, come here uh, once here click on the iMacros uh, icon to open up the sidebar and then from here you're gonna select one that you don't that either you're you're either gonna create a new one or select one that you don't really care about and right click on it right here this SI test macro 2 I didn't make so right click and hit edit macro this will look like gibberish unless you know whatever language this is written in so go ahead and delete it and what you're gonna put in is this it looks a little bit overwhelming but um, it's not necessary that you really know what it is so hit copy then paste and the important and the important things are username here and password here obviously you put your gmail username here and your gmail password here everything else you stay you keep the same so you'd hit okay i didn't set a password or username for this but you would hit play or play loop. If you play loop, it'll do it multiple times. So it'll log you in, then it'll log you out. So then it'll go from the logout page, which is this, and then log you back in and log you back out. Good luck at getting Google TV to work. If you do get it to work, please let me know and make sure you send uh, like a, a screen image, a screenshot if you do get it to work or something like that because everything out there looks very unconvincing. Thank you for watching and please visit my website at howtofourcomputers.com. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and while you're there check out a couple of my other videos. Thank you.